all right what's going on welcome back to another video it's been a minute um i actually don't know how long it's been to be honest probably two months really from i got any sort of content out there so apologies for that it's just it is what it is don't really do it as much anymore um but i got my hands on these so the company that i work for fishing matters uh sent me over a catalog um and basically said look what do you think would be some decent lures and things like that, that that we could potentially sell on the UK market? And some of the stuff that I that I looked at was the the brand that Bobby Garland brand, which is an American brand. They're used for crappie and those sort of things. If anybody knows what they are, um, but they're ideal for perch. Um, I sort of underestimated the size of the ones I actually got as well, which are probably perfect for trout as well. So that's going to be fun. They're, they come in lots of ranges and colors and sizes and shapes and whatnot. So give you a better, quicker look. This is going to stick some uh, tungsten barbless hook jig heads. And we're actually going to go and fish the, the local river here for an hour on my lunch break. And see if we can catch a few trout. I think ideally these would be excellent purchlers. Especially for the, the micro sort of very light finesse stuff. Um, but as I said, yeah, we've got an hour. Lunch break, power hour. I'm going to give the Bobby Garland lures a, a rattle. I think they're definitely going to smash a few fish. Right, so here we go. Yeah, first look. So I'm obviously gonna try the most impossible swim first and get stuck probably and lose my setup. But I'm just gonna give it a quick chuck in here to see if it gets a bit of interest. Oh look at that, about 10 trout just chased it straight away. Look at the amount. Whoa. Just absolutely rammed this trout in there. Right, let's go. I'm not really sure how to fish it because it's a different sort of shape of a lure that, that I've really used before for trout. Do I just read it like a... Like a shad or do you bounce it or what do you do? Water's gin clear and very low. I think it'll be quite difficult to be honest. Oh, got like a wee bump there. Keep moving. A couple of casts in each swim. Just keep moving. Keep looking around me so no unsuspecting dog walkers get to listen to me talk to myself. But uh, it's been a few months from I'm down actually to be honest. I think this is only the second session that I've done after trout from the start of the season. So what's that, March? Yeah, so I have done almost zero compared to what it used to be like water's a bit deeper here i think to be honest with the with the water being so clear the fast water is the better option i think they have too much time to see to see the lure here in the clear water although I'm saying that there was one chasing me in. Oh, and again, right at my feet. They're just swiping at it though, they're not feeding properly. 
usually the way it is whenever the water's clear like that. I find all the best feeding spells are usually after it's been raining and the, the river's just on the drop, so there's a bit of colour in the water. Trout usually seem to feed a lot better then. Alright, let's try some shallow fast water. Not in there. The problem is because it's so light, it's difficult to keep your eye on. The more it actually goes. And the colour of it too <laughs> is exactly the same sort of colour as the background. There's a fish. Oh, there's a fish. Ah, he came off. <laughs> And there we go, that was our first fish in the shallow fast water. What's the joys of barbless hooks? But you don't really mind whenever I'm, I'm up fairly high here, so the chances of actually landing them sort of slim anyway. But proof's in the pudding. We have a fish on it, at least almost a fish. Big tree has fallen and probably one of my favourite swims, which is annoying. Oh, there's a fish straight away. Yeah, it's really annoying, as I said. It's one of my favourite swims, and now I can't even really get fishing properly in it. Certainly wouldn't like to be uh, walking through here in a storm because every time I'm here, there seems to be a new tree that's fallen. Be a ropey enough spot, I'd say. So, setup as per usual, you've seen many times before over the last couple of years. Savage Gear Parabellum, it's the one to five, extra fast. Just the, absolutely love this setup for trout. Um, I'm showing it more so because I am changing all my trout gear, well all my gear soon over to favourite, you'll have seen already. Starting to use various different favourite rods, so that's going to be the plan of attack over the next few months, changing everything over to favourite. Um, so yeah, the Parabellum will be no more. We're just coming in, taking a quick nip at the tail and then dropping it. I got must be easy. Eight or nine bites. And you know, one on that we obviously lost, but I said it's not for that there's one following it. Oh it's a decent fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's, he's right there. He's actually not a bad fish that one. Let's keep our eye on him, where's he going? Seen me and shot away up the river, but getting some amount of interest on this lure. It's usually a good swim. It's strange because it doesn't look special in any sort of way. But for whatever reason there's usually always a fish or two that lies in around here. Just like that. Just same again, grabbing the tail and then letting go. Oh, 
What on earth is going on, Trout? No, oh, there's the game. Come on, get a tick, a tick, a tick, a tick. Ah! That was a good bite, that one. He wanted that. Trout really do amaze me that I can. Obviously got my polarized sunglasses on. And I can see right across the river. Doesn't look like there's anything there at all. And you cast this in and all of a sudden there's two or three trout just there. I, why they've blended in or what, I, I just don't know, but. Crazy. Definitely only getting one or two chances in each spot before they completely switch off but they're just grabbing it realizing it's not what they want and letting go before i can even get the hook set in fact i don't even think they're getting near the hook i think they're just grabbing the tail of it ah and again like what's going on here like it's not a big bait there should be no reason why that's not taking that right end of its mouth Usually the baits I use for trout are much bigger. In the shallow water, and I hang it in there. Two or three fighting over. Come on, take it, take it, take it. Like following it right in there. Yeah, it seems almost all of the action really has been in the really shallow water. They're just like nailing it straight away. Oh, just like that. Did you see that? In probably two inches of water, it was probably the biggest fish of we've hooked today. Oh, you scumbag. <laughs> I reckon that was our chance. That was a nice fish. Changed the style of retrieve, just not doing anything other than a straight retrieve. Really a wee bit faster, letting the tail of the, the lure do all the work. And that was where we've got a biggest fish yet. Unfortunately, we're out of time. Okay, need to get back to the car. Last cast. Let's make it a good one. Snap that. And take that. And we get a fish on the last cast. <laughs> oh, couldn't rate it. So the river is absolutely full of these guys, absolutely full of them. So we can just flick them off straight under the water. There we go. Bobby Garland lures. There's quite a different range of them. You're going to see them soon. They're going to be in the Sprite website, which I'm going to put a link on the description for. And they're also going to be obviously in my shop too, www.castnorthangland.com. So I'm going to get the links for both. You can check all these lures out, all the different shapes, sizes, colours. There's lots and lots of them for perch, trout, chub, whatever it is. They're going to absolutely nail them. Right, last swim because of 15 minutes left. Last chance to catch a couple more fish. Oh, come on. 
bite, 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 constantly biting, but no hookups. Come on, following it right in. There's a guy who came and was talking to me there for a while, and he was watching too. Does a bit of fly fishing, and you can actually come believe just the amount of oh, oh, that was a good bite there. You scumbag, that was a good bite. But yeah, as I was saying, he uh, couldn't believe the amount of follows and nips it was getting. That was a good bite there. You don't get too many chances here. There we go, that's a good one, that's a good one. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Hopefully he comes off here. I can just drop him off without even touching him. But there we go. Proof in the pudding. And he goes, quick release, didn't even touch the fish. Nice. Oh, I needed that. It was good fish on the light tackle. On the Bobby Gartland bait. It was actually a really good take as well. <laughs> Scared the life out of me.